one of the longest talked about fights in the boxing world is finally coming to the stage as welterweight champions Errol Spence Jr. and Terence Crawford are set for a massive four-belt unification for undisputed champion on July 29th in Las Vegas, as announced by both fighters on May 25th. The fight will take place at the T-Mobile Arena and air live on Showtime pay-per-view. Spence and Crawford are two of the elite pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport in recent years, and their presence in the same division has led to a high demand for the two to clash and determine the top fighter at 147 pounds. As happens so often, boxing's political games got in the way of this fight happening as Crawford was signed to top rank while Spence was part of Premier Boxing Champion's deep roster of welterweights. With Crawford's top-ranked deal done, he was able to negotiate for fights that were unavailable in the past, including finally showing down with Spence. Unfortunately, the fight failed to come together on the first attempt, as in 2022, both parties engaged in lengthy negotiations, giving the impression that the fight was close to being a done deal on multiple occasions. However, despite their efforts, they were unable to reach a final agreement resulting in a highly publicized breakdown in negotiations, and the main issues that hindered the progress included disputes over revenue distribution and the inclusion of rematch clauses, and Crawford made it clear that he wanted full transparency related to event expenses since the contract contains no guaranteed purse. Hard left hand again. Crawford wailing away at Lundy in the corner, and Willis is going to stop it. And just like that, last will tell. Terrence Crawford has another big knockout victory. And like the Delorme fight for Crawford, the fight's going to... The drama never stopped with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr., who engaged in a series of heated arguments on Twitter over their failed contract negotiations to set up a super fight, and both parties are blaming each other. And now that lawyers have tied up some loose ends, the highly anticipated welterweight bout is set for next July and both fighters are patiently waiting to settle their conflicts in the ring. A fight which will shake the boxing world itself and a chance for the winner to take it all. Terence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. have emerged as the most dominant champions in the weight class and the time has come to determine who between them is the king of the welterweight mountain. They already have bad blood between them, a three-division world champion and the most avoided fighter in the world of boxing. Crawford has garnered the reputation as the boogeyman of the welterweight division. He's one of the most dreaded welterweights, with a boxing record of 30 brutal KOs out of a 39-0 streak. Aiming to break the legendary record of Floyd Mayweather's 50-0 and become one of boxing's Hall of Famers, Bud is looking hungrier and more ready than ever to conquer every single opponent. But the next obstacle is a true problem as he fights Errol Spence Jr., a true artist when it comes to boxing. He punches people with a style that makes it nearly impossible not to get excited watching him. Errol is ranked as the fourth best pound-for-pound -pound boxer, and for good reason. Out of his total 28 bouts, he has 22 wins by knockout. The two welterweight titans really hate each other and want to solve their problems by breaking each other's faces after a long time waiting for the fight to settle. Will Crawford remain the welterweight champion for yet another year, or will Spence make one of the biggest comebacks in boxing and gain everything he deserves? Let's turn back the clock and delve into the journey of this fight witnessing how it evolved and transformed into one of the most eagerly anticipated showdowns in boxing history. Bud Crawford, do you want to fight? Here comes Bud, one of the best finishers in boxing. Oh, Crawford gets up, and Crawford just Spence Jr.'s journey to the undisputed welterweight title began with his fight against Kell Brook for the IBF welterweight title in 2017. Both were a great matchup on paper, and they delivered a terrific fight at Bramall Lane in Sheffield, England, 
with Spence separating himself from Brooke down the stretch and scoring an 11th round stoppage emerging victorious, capturing the title, solidifying his position as a rising star in the welterweight division and earning that belt with a tremendous performance against a valiant defending champion and on Brooke's own home turf in the United Kingdom. Champion of the world, still undefeated, Earl, the truth, Spence Jr. Spence's next battles were against some challenging opponents, defending his IBF title against Lamont Peterson, Carlos Ocampo in 2018, and Mikey Garcia, where he didn't only defend his IBF title, but also won the WBC Diamond Welter in March 2019 before he faced Sean Porter in a highly anticipated showdown for the WBC Welterweight title in September 2019. The fight proved to be a grueling battle, with both fighters showcasing their heart and determination as Errol Spence had never been tested at this degree of difficulty. Sean Porter pressured, prodded, and exposed him during a title bout that stretched every bit of Spence's vaunted boxing skill. The budding welterweight superstar emerged with two championship belts after he figured out the answers to this test just in time. Spence added the WBC welterweight title to his IBF strap with a thrilling split decision victory over Sean Porter and ultimately came out on top. In favor of the winner, he is now the WBC and the IBF welterweight unified champion of the world, Errol Spence. Errol's long winning streak didn't stop here, as he continued to climb to the top scale of boxing, where he managed to defend his titles against Danny Garcia in December 2020 despite a severe car accident nearly 14 months earlier, where he survived in a miraculous way. Spence came right back and insisted he was still the same fighter, and any skepticism surrounding that claim disappeared that night when he won by unanimous decision. Then, after an eye injury where he was out for nearly two years, he came right back and fought Jordanis Ugas in April 2022. Errol, the truth, faced Ugas for the WBA welterweight title. Despite a valiant effort from Ugas, Spence displayed his superior skills and battled through adversity, showing his power is still a force to be reckoned with in the welterweight division, and secured another victory via a technical knockout in the 10th round, solidifying his claim as a unified champion of three of the four major titles at 147 pounds. Until here, you guys know that the remaining welterweight title not in Spence's possession belongs to WBO title holder Terence Crawford, who is an interested observer of the match. It's one of the Scott here because he happened to beat a faded Manny Pacquiao. On the other hand, Crawford's path to the welterweight division began with his historic fight against Julius Indungo. Prior to that, Terence Crawford held two world titles. He was the WBO Light Welterweight Champion and the WBC, Ring Magazine, and Lineal Light Welterweight Champion. The fight against Ndungo was significant because it was for the undisputed championship, which meant that all four major titles in the division were on the line. Crawford showcased his dominance by knocking out Ndungo in the third round, becoming the first fighter in over a decade to hold all four major titles simultaneously in any weight class. After his triumph at light welterweight, Crawford moved up in weight to the welterweight division. His debut in the division was in June 2018 against Jeff Horn, putting his undefeated record of 32-0 on the line versus the reigning champion at the time, who had defeated the legendary and boxing icon Manny Pacquiao a year before. Crawford displayed his superior skills once again, defeating Horn and capturing the WBO welterweight title. 
Crawford's legendary winning streak continued with six title defenses against Jose Benavidez Jr., Amir Khan, Egidius Kavalowskis, Kel Brook, Sean Porter, and David Avanesian. The long-awaited clash between Spence Jr. and Crawford promises to be a monumental event that will captivate the boxing world. It's a chance for one fighter to solidify their claim as the top welterweight and potentially pave their way to the Boxing Hall of Fame in the future. From a quality versus quality standpoint, it doesn't get better than Crawford versus Spence for all four welterweight belts. They're a combined 67 to 0, 52 KOs. They're pound for pound royalty. Crawford number one and Spence is number four on Boxing Junkies list. Both are not young, with Crawford being 35 and Spence 32, but the magic is neither has shown signs of decline. Bottom line, these are two of the best fighters of their generation, making this the biggest 147-pound matchup since Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao in 2015. The tension, animosity, and desire to settle their differences in the ring will undoubtedly make for a thrilling and explosive showdown. Round by round, this fight will be dictated by pace and positioning, or in other words, ring generalship. Whoever is the ring general will win a decision. They both have the power to stop each other, but many boxing experts expect them to make it to the cards. Boxing fans eagerly await this momentous event, hoping to witness the crowning of a unified champion of the four belts in one of the sport's most competitive weight classes.